I came to Lesvos to listen and to learn. I wanted to see firsthand what the crossing was like for these refugees, to hear their stories and their hopes for the future. This is The Crossing. family is from Syria. The boat just came in. Seems to be uh, <laughs> pretty uh, healthy group. One woman that looks like has a broken leg. <laughs> just in the time that I was there, we saw such an increase in the influx of women and children. So many more tiny babies, five days old, five weeks old. A young girl had a cesarean two days before, and it just was so crazy to me as a mother to think, you know, how could you risk putting your whole family, all these little tiny kids, in situations with fake life jackets and nobody knows how to steer the boat? What would make this seem like a sane alternative? And then you hear the stories of their houses being blown up and their husbands being forced to serve in the army and their cousins being decapitated and you know just one thing after another because the main thing that everybody talks about is leaving just for their children just to make them safe to give them a, a future and it's heartbreaking as a mom to see what they left behind <laughs> And this one woman, she didn't speak any English, but she said, thank you, I love you. That's all she knew.